Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're starting out a new series. It's uh, how to mount a largemouth bass. Um, this is going to be a skin mount. This series is going to consist of probably three to four different videos. I'm going to break it up and uh, make some shorter videos like I've been doing on my other ones. Um, I, in this first episode, we're going to be going over all the tools used and uh, I'm going to go over the tools, show you what they are, and uh, kind of talk about you know how you use them and what they're used for. So uh, if y'all hadn't hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, uh, hit that little bell, that bell notify you when I got uh, new content available here on the channel. So y'all stick around here. I'm gonna get these tools out, get them laid out on the table, and we're gonna get started. All right, guys, I got all the tools laid out here on the table. Um, I'm just gonna go over them one by one and I'll show you what type of tools you're gonna need to uh, start this uh, how to mount a bass project. Uh, the first thing we're gonna start out is, I'm just gonna go in order. You're gonna need a, uh, a, t a seamstress tape, and this will be the same type of tape I've showed y'all in my other videos um, that we use to measure like a, you know, the, a deer around the atlas of his neck. So if you're gonna do a shoulder mount, this is what you'd use to measure, you know, to get the form. You're also gonna use this uh, to get the length of your fish and the girth of your fish. And uh, what you'll be uh, using is, you can either, you can buy, a foam mannequin from a taxidermy supply company or you can get you uh, a lot of people will actually take the carcass of the fish and uh, they'll measure it and they'll carve them up uh, the shape of the fish out of a so out of a foam block um, I prefer just you know going ahead and ordering one that's already a uh, pre-made form um, they're just to me they're just a lot easier to, to mount on a lot quicker um, so uh, the next thing that you're gonna need is a, a good pair of scissors and uh, what the scissors is used for, a lot of people, once you determine which side of the fish you want to mount, you'll lay your fish out on the table. And we'll just pretend this is the, the body of the fish. We'll st you'll take these scissors and start at the base of the tail, and you'll cut an incision all the way up to the, to the uh, collarbone of the fish. Um, some people prefer to use a scalpel blade. You can do the same thing. You just have to start here at the base of the tail, take the scalpel, and be careful, and work your way up all the way up to the collarbone. Um, so that'll be two of the, the tools you'll need to get started skinning your fish. Like I said, a good pair of scissors or a good scalpel blade. All right, once you get your, uh, your, fit, your incision made in your fish, you're gonna need some type of a fish skinning knife. I, I prefer these. Um, these are left and right. If you, if you buy these, you can buy them in a set. There's the large one and the small one. Uh, for a large mouth bass, uh, you know, crappie, um, anything like that, I prefer the smaller one. And then when you get on up into your bigger fish, you can move over this one. I mean, all, you know, anything all the way up to like a, a you know, a long nose gar, alligator gar, or whatever, you know, something big. Um, and what you'll do with this is, once you get that incision made, you will you'll skin, this is what you'll run between the skin and the meat of the fish to remove the skin off of the carcass. All right. You can also, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to buy you one of these fish skinning knives, you're starting out a regular old kitchen table knife. There's a lot of people, even myself included, I started out using just a, a table, you know, a, a, what, what I call a butter knife. And uh, it, it's pretty much, it's got the little serrated edge. It's, it's, the fish skinning knife has got the same thing, it's just more aggressive. So starting out using a, a butter knife would probably be a better bet because you're not as apt to cut through the skin because it's not as, like I said, the, the teeth on this little knife is not as aggressive. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Once you get the, uh, the skin started, skinning it off, you're gonna need a pair of fish shears. And uh, it's something like this, some kind of heavy duty shears. You can also use a pair of heavy duty scissors but this will be to cut the junction of the fish. You want, you want to cut the spine right here at the base of the tail. And also when you get up around their fins, you're going to have to have something that'll cut through these bones around these, you know, the side fins, the uh, pectoral fins and the dorsal fin. You know, you want to be able to cut up, start at the back. Once you get this skin uh, loosened up, you'll run these shears down the back of this fish and you'll cut through the spines and cut that, uh, cut that skin loose from the fish. And uh, I'll go over that in more detail once I, I am in the, uh, the second uh, video here of the how to skin a bass. Uh, that's going to be the next thing coming up after showing you how to use these tools. Uh, another good thing you're going to have to have 
is this right here is a little fish, it's a fish skin and tool. This is to remove the flesh and the membrane off of the skin. Once you get the skin, you know, uh, opened up and get the, get the carcass out of the skin, you will take this and this is what you'll use to scrape the skin and get all the meat off the, the, the skin side. Uh, another thing you'll need is you'll need a, some kind of small caliper. And what this is for, a little caliper is used. This is what you're going to use to measure the eyeball of the fish. You're going to have to kind of get a rough measurement so you'll know what size eyeball to order to put back in it once you get ready to mount it. So you can buy these. This is just a little plastic one. Uh, you can get them from just about anywhere, any hobby store or any taxidermy supply company. Um, once you remove the fish's eyeball, you're going to need a, 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 a cheeker tool. This is to remove the cheek meat out of the fish's head around its eyeballs, around its jaws. And what you'll do, you'll run this through the eye socket and go down and there's a, there's a pad of meat on each side of the fish's head just below the eyeball. And it's probably, I don't know, probably 3 sixteenths to maybe something, depending on how big the fish is, almost half inch thick on some of them. But you'll go down there and you'll work all this, uh, you'll work all that meat loose. And then once you work it loose, you'll need to get you a pair of tweezers or a pair of needle nose pliers and go through the eye hole, the eye socket hole of the head and pull that meat out. And uh, another good thing to have on hand is some borax. If you take that borax and drop it down in that eye hole and then take this cheek or two and just work it. Say, say this is your eye hole, you'll just work it down in there and uh, work that borax right there. It'll make it a lot easier for, for this tool to grip that meat. Whatever little piece is left down there, it'll be easier to get out. Um, and then once you get all that out and... Uh, Get the fish ready to go. You can. I, I use a a, a fish tan. It's uh, made by Knoblox. That's just that's what I've always used. Uh, you'll put your fish tan. Put your fish down in that fish tan and tan it for about six hours, six to eight hours, something like that. And uh, pull it out, rinse it, and then you'll be ready to move on to the mounting process. Which then that's going to consist of, like I said, you'll mount on this. You can either carve your own body or buy you a fish form. Um, you're also going to need some 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 type of clay or mache. To put around the fin uh, butts and around here around the tail and at the head junction just so you'll have a nice clean junction you know when you fit when you mount the fish on this form so uh this is going to be the end of the uh the fish uh, mounting tools video like i said uh y'all uh if you hadn't subscribed yet just hit that subscribe button and uh that way y'all uh, know when the, I got another video up and coming, just make sure also you hit the notification bell and like. Just hit just hit the like button. It helps out my channel. Uh, it helps spread the word. Uh, gets it gets it out on uh, on YouTube's out algorithm. So uh, y'all uh, stick around here for the next video. I'll see y'all here in just uh, on the next one. Like I said, we'll be going over. I got a, about a nine pound largemouth bass here. I'm gonna do a skin mount on. So I'm gonna be going over and showing you how to how to skin it out. And uh, once we get it skinned out, I'll go through the the tanning process show you how I do that and then we'll move on and I'll actually do a, a mounting video how to mount a large mouth bass so as always thanks for watching and god bless